This is IFV, the web space with your dose of business and financial news. In full view, we're making your business our business. Welcome to In Full View. I'm Marcella Palmer. We're bringing you the week's medium and small business news from the New Yorker Hotel, where hundreds have come to learn and connect at the Supermom Entrepreneur Conference and Expo. We came together with this because um, a lot of conferences that we go to that are targeting women sometimes leave out the part about balancing your business from home or working with your kids and being able to be a really good mom and a really good businesswoman. This conference, we allowed you to bring your children. It's about your family. A family is a major part of your business. And if the family home is not right, then it'll be hard for you to operate your business. So we wanted to make this feel like home. You're amongst girlfriends, you're amongst moms who are all going for the same cause. Overwhelmingly, we've had so many people coming up to us and telling us how inspired they are to move on with their business in the future. How a lot of them came across with kind of low expectations because it was our first conference and how they're leaving with, with these tr you know, tremendous results. And they'll be able to change their business and their lives in the future from what they learned from these excellent speakers that we had here today. And I believe a lot of moms walked away with a bigger vision, ready to play big. Yeah. Next year, we will be Fort Lauderdale, the Broward County Convention Center in early October. Being a mom and an entrepreneur are two full-time jobs. The Super Mom Entrepreneur Conference and Expo is giving super women who are balancing both jobs a chance to further educate themselves, better market their products and services, and exchange ideas with other mompreneurs and supportive dads. Hey, I'm Fabienne Fredrickson, small business coaching expert, clientattraction.com, and I help entrepreneurs, mostly women, who are looking to get more clients, make more money, and multiply their businesses so they can actually um, be of service to a lot more people, get handsomely rewarded for it, and work less. And I started my business 11 years ago. I was working in advertising, marketing, and sales in the corporate world. And I realized that I'm actually unemployable. <laughs> I, I've always wanted to do my own thing. And I realized that having somebody breathe down my neck with sales quotas and and um, you know, needing to be someplace at a certain time and, and all of that didn't really work for me. And I decided to take the great leap of faith and quit my corporate job after having studied nutrition on evenings and weekends and open up a private nutrition practice out of my home in Manhattan and my teeny tiny, less than 300 square foot apartment became my home and my office. And I got clients right away, but I, what I didn't realize is that when you put up your shingle, it, your practice doesn't fill to capacity immediately. And I ended up subsidizing my life and my business on my credit cards. But after a while with not enough clients, I couldn't pay the bills and the credit card companies started calling. And I didn't know what to do because I didn't know how to attract more clients. And I would have these 3 a.m. I don't have enough client sweats. And one day, after many sleepless nights, I called my dad in the middle of the night and I was crying and I said, Dad, I haven't been really completely honest with you about what's going on with my practice. I have clients, they're doing great. I just don't have enough clients. And if I don't do something differently, I'm going to have to go back to corporate and I just can't. And he listened to me and he was quiet for a while and then he said, Fabienne, if there's something I know about you, it's that whenever you set your mind on something and you really want it, you always find a way to get it and to make it happen. So I want you to figure out how to get clients. And that was a defining moment in my life. And 11 years later, um, I now run a multi-million dollar business helping entrepreneurs around the world 
with my what what I created, which is the client attraction system. And I run workshops, and we have hundreds and hundreds of clients in all levels of our Winners Academy. And I teach three different types of entrepreneurs. The Startup Sally, how to get more clients and make more money. The Leverage Lucy, the person who has plenty of clients but has no time. She's created a job for herself and she's the bottleneck in the company. And if she doesn't find a way to leverage herself, her time and her business, she can't make more money. And then there's the visionary Vicky who is doing very well in her business but to get to past the million dollar mark, she needs a completely different infrastructure and a different mindset to grow. Most of my clients are women and many of them are mothers. And some of them are, are, are women who want to be mothers, but because their business is not where they want to be yet, they don't feel quite ready to become a mother. And one of the greatest side benefits that moves me often to tears is when somebody says, I, now that my business attracts a lot of clients and we finally make money, we're, we've chosen to have a baby now. And every time I hear that, I just want to cry because this is when you feel like you really are making a difference in people's lives. And I think it's really important um, for me to stay focused on uh, mom entrepreneurs because there are a lot of people who are teaching small businesses how to get clients. But very few people have a, such a successful business, very few of these marketers and, and uh, coaches have such a successful business and have uh, the special challenges that you have when you have three small children. Um, it's different when you're learning from someone who is single and can work into the night until 1 a.m. if they want to or, or you know jet across the world. It's different for us mompreneurs because when it's 5.15 or 5.30, you must shut down the computer. It's, um, I believe that when you are at work, you must be fully focused on work. And when you are with your children, you must absolutely be fully focused on your children. Because if you are saying to your children, one more email, honey, and I promise mommy will be right there, it, you're cheating them. And when you are doing the same thing with your business, you're cheating your business. And so I believe that through my business, I am able to teach not only the marketing and the systems and the, and the business models, but the mindset and, and how to sh set up your life as a mom entrepreneur so that you give to each part of your life as close to 100% as you possibly can. That's all for this week from the IFE News Team. Thanks for joining us from the Supermom Entrepreneur Conference and Expo at the New Yorker Hotel. Be sure to check back every day right here at ifenews.com for the latest on what's happening around the globe in the medium and small business world.